Hey, how are you doing boys and Welcome back to some more Gravezone Warfare. And today is a video I promised to make from last night's stream after discovering something to make the game look more clearer when running in NVIDIA DLSS or FSR. A lot of people I know will be running NVIDIA DLSS under, under quality or balance to try and get more frames or FSR quality or balance just to try and get those frames. And the, the thing about those um, downscalers is what they're doing is they are basically downscaling your resolution. So if you're at 1080p, it's lowering that resolution and then up trying to upscale it using AI. And it does an okay job, but what you normally get is some type of blur. Now, what you're seeing in front of you is NVIDIA DLSS under balanced. Okay, so um, it's not under quality, it's under balanced. And so it does get you good frames but it can look pretty blurry. And just to have a little take note of what we've seen here, and this is what we've done and managed to get rid of some of this blur by applying something out of game, which doesn't affect your frames at all. And it just makes the game look a little bit more clearer. So this is the before and after. So this is how it looks like normally, no sharpness. And then we just slide this along. Take note of like the road, it looks a little bit more sharper and the gun will look a little bit more sharper and the distance areas will look a little bit sharper, including all the grass. And it's going to be hard to show on a YouTube compression video. Um, you're not going to see the full benefit on YouTube or anything. And this is why I encourage you to try it instead. But I wanted to kind of try and show a screenshot and then we just screen, zoom out again and uh, just show you the difference between no sharpness to uh, the now more sharpness and just take note this is also a moving screenshot of me strafing to the left um not a standing still picture where um things look sharper when you're standing still so um this is how it normally looks this is how it looks afterwards and it just makes the the picture overall pop a little bit more and makes things a little bit more clearer in the distance so what are we doing why you should try it and um who should it, who will it affect more? Let's have a little look at this and how we uh, how we actually enable this feature. So to start off with, this is going to be for Nvidia users only on how to enable this sharpness. Now, if you're an AMD user, you should be able to enable a sharpness filter also in your in like AMD control panel. There is a sharpness um, filter there. I don't know if it's the same type of sharpness as what the Nvidia one adds, but you could have a little muck around and see if it also helps you to enabling that sharpness in the control panel. Unfortunately, I can't show you how to do that because I have not a, I don't have an AMD card. But for NVIDIA users, if you right click and go to the NVIDIA control panel and just bring this up, you go to manage 3D settings, what you'll most probably see and what I'm seeing at the minute is image scaling. This is a new feature within the last year or so been added to any of the drivers within the last year or maybe a little bit more now, but it isn't that great and what it's trying to do is again do the same type of thing as what nvidia dlss does but in a worse way it kind of downscales the resolution and then tries to add a sharpness to kind of counter that compared to what the um, dlss does which uses ai and so you can see here it says on gpu scaling and sharpening this is not great i don't like this and i don't know why they removed the old setting and added this it's, it's just an inferior um, setting. So how do we get back the better setting which was in the older drivers? To do so, we do need to edit the registry. So let's do that now. So we're going to come off the NVIDIA control panel. We're going to go and click start and we're going to type in a thing called reg and all you have to type in reg and it should find the best match called registry editor and that's what we want to open up. So we're just going to open this up, click on this Click yes, and it's bringing up this registry info. Now I'm going to bring this to full screen, so we have this covered for the full screen. And then I've got a, uh, a notepad. Let me just open up the old notepad under documents, PC Health. I have everything on PC Health here, just things I like to change. And uh, I'll definitely be yourself. Try and make a, a notepad with this too. Um, so you can keep this setting. I will put this in the pinned comment, this uh, text here. So you can do the same thing and copy this and add it as a notepad and put it in your document somewhere because what you will need to do is always do this every single time you update your NVIDIA driver because when you update it, it will 
most probably default back to the normal. If it doesn't, that's great. But if it does default back, you know how to change it. So what we're going to be doing once we've got the registry editor up, we've got our notepad here or for you guys, the uh, pin comment. You just want to copy this whole text at the top here from computer all the way to FPS, right? This whole lot here. All right, so just control C or just right click and copy. Go to your registry editor here and at the top, just under file, edit, view and favorites, you'll see a little kind of place where you can type in text. Just highlight whatever is there in a minute. Just press control A, it should uh, highlight it. And then, then press control V to paste in the thing we've copied. And you can now see that we've got our text there. Press enter, it's gonna take you to a new location where you're gonna see a load of enabled GRs with a load of different numbers. And this does look confusing, but don't worry. The only thing we need to do now is enable one of the specific GRs to zero. To do this, the easiest way is actually just to press Control F. This is gonna bring up the find and just type in the number 535. That's all you need to type and just click find next and it will highlight enable GR535. That is the one we need to enable or disable. Double click on it and it's gonna bring up another window here again and it's gonna be able to edit the value. At the minute, it is a value of one. All we need to do is type this to zero and then we click okay. That will disable that feature and it will bring back the old feature in the NVIDIA control panel. It's not gonna muck anything up, that's all it's going to do. And for whatever reason you do not like it and you wanna just revert back, all you have to do is go back to the same place, enable GR535, double click, and you just enable this back to one and click apply. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back to zero because we want to enable it, click okay, come off this. And now if you go back to the NVIDIA control panel, it's gonna look a little bit different. You can now see it says image sharpening instead of image scaling, which is perfect. We just want the image sharpening. That's all we want. And it's a really good um, sharpness. So we don't want to enable it globally, but what we do want to do is enable it just for Grey Zone Warfare or any game which you want to use this sharpen effect on. So when you go to program settings, you can select uh, the drop down here, your programs you're currently using. So I want to use Grey Zone Warfare. Okay, so it says Grey Zone Warfare here, GZW Client. I'm going to click on that one and it's going to bring up the Grey Zone Warfare specific settings for us. So here is the image sharpening again. We're going to double, we're going to just click on it once. It will be first use global settings. We want to put it to on and this is where you can kind of change the settings. Now, ignore film grain. You don't really need to worry about it. It actually tells you down below what each thing does. So you can see, use ignore film grain to reduce over sharpening in applications that use film grain. We haven't got any film grain in um, Grey Zone Warfare, so this should be okay. And you don't really need to muck around with the setting. I'll put it to 0.2 because that's what I used to use back in the day. So I just left it at that. Now, the thing you can change is this one, the sharpen thing. You can um, put it to one or way down to zero. Okay. Now, the default is 0.5 at 1440p. I felt like that was a bit over sharpened and it looked a bit too much. And so I've put it down to 0.25. You want to have a little play around with this and kind of change it to your own needs, depending on what resolution you're running. So if you're running at 1080p, you must be able to up this a bit more because your resolution is lower. Um, and if you're running in 1440p, maybe keep it around 0.25 or a little bit lower. If you're running in 4K, you most probably want to lower this even more and it may not look as good in 4K, but I can't test that because I have not a 4K monitor, unfortunately. Okay, so have a little go at this and see if it works out for you. Once you have done this, have it on, on 0.25, click OK. You should be good to go. Now a quick other tip, if you uh, want to, go to anastropic filtering here and I have this enabled by global, but on the Grey Zone Warfare, go to 16X. This won't really affect your frames at all, but it will help make your textures also sometimes look a little bit more crisp in game because some games offer this anastropic filtering um, setting in game where you can enable it. 
Rayzone Warfare doesn't have it. Now, I don't know if it just enables it in 16x by default, but I just enable it here and force it to 16x just in case it doesn't and it will help your game also just look a little bit better too for people who maybe not have this enabled. This one's just like a, a an extra. It may help, it may not help, but I always like to force anisotropic filtering to 16x on games which don't allow you to change it in game. Okay, so that's the main thing here. Anyone just just click apply and you're done. That is it. So now let's go into in game and just talk about some of the settings you can do now in game with the extra sharpening applied. And now we're in game, you should notice that the game looks a lot more sharper. It may look over sharp depending on your settings. And so you may want to, like I said, adjust it back and forth on the slider on the NVIDIA control panel to meet your needs. But what I would recommend in game is go to your settings graphics. And I will be going over a updated graphics set in video once I test all the settings again and what they do to the game and affect how they affect your frames later on. I will be going over a new video of that once the big update comes out. But we're going to go down to the advanced section and make sure that your NVIDIA DLSS sharpness is either off or really low. All right, because the sharpness for some reason in game just doesn't seem to be as good as the sharpness which is added from the NVIDIA control panel. It just seems to be better from the NVIDIA control panel. So I turn this off and then I obviously adjust my settings accordingly. Now, I really couldn't stand quality or balance back in the days. Um, I thought the it just looked too blurry and it didn't look that great. But with the additional sharpness added from the NVIDIA control panel, I can now run quality and balance and it makes the game still look very, very good. And I can not see as much blur. There's still going to be some, but it's not going to be as apparent. And you can have a lot more of a clearer picture with the sharpness effect added. So now I can run balanced and uh, I run frame generation on. And so now I'm getting around 130 frames a second in base and it still looks nice and sharp and crystal clear and it feels great and I've got more frames. So I'm really happy with the outcome at the minute um, with my settings. And like I said, I will go over in depth every single setting under the graphics section for you guys. Again, with some pictures, how it affects my frames from low all the way to epic and some recommendations for your system. We will also be going over troubleshooting on how to um, avoid crashes. We'll also be going over how to tweak your Windows system um, out of game to gain more FPS in game. A load of things um, we'll be going over in a video coming after the big update comes out. Again, I wanna test it when the big update comes out because I don't know if they're gonna change anything here. I have no ideas, but if they do, I want to make sure that I have it covered after the update. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you. And uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you like the effect, if you don't like the effect. Again, it's going to be very personal preference to each person and their system. But if it can help you out and it improves your game in some type of way, then I've done my job. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon for some more Grey Zone Warfare.